So the, the I think that a lot of times people think like creating companies going to be fun. I would say it's not. It's really not that fun. I mean, there are periods of fun, and there are, there are periods of where it's where it's just awful. Um, and particularly if you're the CEO of the company, um, you actually have a distillation of all the worst problems in the company. Um, so there's no point in spending your time on things that are going right. So you only spend on things on your time on things that are going wrong. And, and there are things that are going wrong that s other people can't, can't take care of. So you have like the worst. You have a filter for the crappest problem in the company. <laughs> and the most pernicious and painful problem. Um, so I wouldn't say it's, it's it, I think you have to feel quite compelled to do it um, and have a, a fairly high pain threshold. And there's a friend of mine who, who says like starting a company is like staring into the abyss and, and eating glass. Um, and there's some truth to that. <laughs> um, the staring into the abyss part is that you're going to be constantly facing the, the um, extermination of the company. Because uh, most, most startups fail. Uh, it's like 90%, arguably 99% of, of startups fail. So, uh, so you, you, that, that's the staring into the abyss part. You're constantly saying, okay, this, if, if, if I don't get this right, the company will die. Um, it's going to be quite stressful. Quite stressful. And, and then um, the eating glass part is you've got, you've got to do you've got to do the problems you've got to, you've got to work on the problems that the company needs you to work on not the problems you want to work on and, and so that, that, that's you end up working on problems that, that uh, you'd really wish you weren't working on and so that's, that's the eating glass part <laughs>